Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful, cloudy Ohio day? Beautiful day. We're here. We are going to fill up the mowers. We can get rocking and rolling, right? Goose is very important. And, it is uh, very important. I don't know if you guys caught on to it, but ours jumped about 50 cents right before the old season was about to kick off here. What is so. it? 3.43 a gallon. Yeah. That's regular. We use plus in our mowers and that's 3.83 a gallon. Just a middle grade. I know some people say, you know, whatever. To be honest with you, they say E15, no E85 on here. So that's why I go with, I think, whatever it is. Yeah. I'm yeah. no fuel expert. <laughs> no fuel expert. But well, good morning to you guys as well. We're gonna get rocking here this morning. It's gonna be a cloudy day, not sunny as of right now. And uh, is that one full? It popped off. No, I think it just kicked off. It's not full. Uh -oh. Both these had about half. And oh yeah, we, uh, we found our old friend Noah tagged our mower up under there. I'm a little vertically challenged, so I gotta get up closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So probably our weirdest request for service ever. And I'll be honest with you, it's big. It's the only reason we came down here to take a look at it. It's big, big. And TQ's excited about this because she's honestly always told me she wanted to take care of one of these. And I've told her, I'm like, we don't want to take care of that. So but this uh, one doesn't seem as look as bad though. No, this, so. lo this looks better. A lot of trimming, but uh, I just don't, this just isn't my jam. This well, is TQ's jam. This isn't what? my jam. Let's just, let's just show them. All right. Well, let's hurry up though, because that lawn care service is about to start mowing and getting after it. But anyways, yeah, we got a request to estimate. See him behind me? So this is a very unique place. Okay. And I'll spin around here. If you can see, the stones go all the way around the edge, okay? There's nothing really in the center just yet. Uh, pretty much, there's a lot up there. It's wet, wet. Yeah, it's very wet. Yeah. Anyways, so as of right now, everything comes around the edge, all the way down where we're parked at here, and all the way up the edge. So they want these all trimmed around bi-weekly or as needed. This thing, I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not. Someone texted, but I'm gonna go see the customer. Okay, so we sent him a message because he said the cemetery itself, uh, he's an elderly gentleman, he said it's two acres, but he said there's another piece of property, which that's, I'm assuming it might be that empty a lot across the street because he said it was across the street, but we're kind of on like an L here, so. It comes across and then down. So, and there's another piece across the street as well that we're not real sure that it could potentially be that empty lot. So I'm looking for the gentleman. He wanted to meet us here to show us exactly. And, or it could be that empty hillside up there too. So I'm gonna wait to see. I thought I heard somebody talking. Oh yeah. So this is a pet cemetery, not a human cemetery. This is a pet cemetery, which I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know we had locally. So some of the stones are flat. These are actually really nice to mow over because you can pretty much go right over them. It's crazy. I love my animals. This is cool. There's a lot of water on this thing though, guys. See this water sitting here? This is what's pretty much underneath of us. This thing is wet, wet. Some Somebody bought a big old, big old placard. This is pretty darn crazy. I'm assuming there's a headstone under there too. Yeah, the water, it's just sinking. There's so much water. 
coming off this hillside here. So this one, if we do get it, it's gonna need a couple more weeks to really dry out because this thing is saturated and big. So what I'm gonna do, because I can see everything that needs trimmed, like the trees and everything, and there's a lot here. I'm gonna price this one on an hourly rate. These stones here wouldn't be a problem mowing over, even though you gotta watch, because see how like it's lifted? You catch a blade, you're definitely not gonna wanna mow low. Like this is, for TQ and myself, on a day when we trim everything, like I know there's a lot of stones here, but in reality we can trim around those stones in probably 10 seconds or less. Those bigger ones, maybe 15, 20 seconds. All the trees, that area there can be mowed where that big one was, where all the water was sitting. There's a bunch more through here as well. We just, you gotta mow high on something like this, guys. The last thing you wanna do is catch a stone with your blades. This thing is massive. So I'm gonna measure this out. I gotta figure out where this other piece is that he's saying they own as well and measure it out. Was that him? No. No? I was just looking back because you said pet cemetery, two acres, and then there's a, an adjacent field. Mm -hmm. um, That's what I was just telling him about. Okay. I don't know where that field is. There's, there's one up top Okay. and there's one across the street and then that one we came off the other road up there. Yeah. But. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just wait to see if he contacts us. And... Yeah, I'm going to map this one out. I see what it looks like. I kind of have a, a price range in my head. Uh, it's not going to be cheap. I'll say it like that. Let's move on and get some actual work done. So I just had to turn around. They got some construction going on at this one, which we wanted to get in here and start getting cleaned up. It does need mowed. Uh, properties are hit and miss right now. We're just skipping the ones that don't. So we'll come back to this one later on this week. Of sticks around the property Sean is gonna go ahead and load them up on the grandstand and it just makes it so much easier to haul them back to the back part of the property where we have permission to go ahead and dump um, but right now you get to enjoy his handsome face as he drives them back there isn't he so handsome and then he's gonna go ahead and offload them and then yeah so they're out of sight and out of mind
business, you don't always have to have the big, flashy, fancy piece of equipment to do a job. For example, right here, I don't have my mulch bucket on the front of my multi-force, so I am making do with the platform of my multi-force, carrying the debris back to where it needs to go. You just have to kind of be innovative in business, starting out or a seasoned veteran in the business. There's always going to be hurdles and you just kind of have to get through them, think through them, and you could definitely get the job done. guys if you can hear me we figured out the audio problem from yesterday so when we're going into time lapse on the GoPro and then we go back into regular shooting like we are right now where we want to talk or explain something it mutes the audio automatically going from time lapse back to regular so we have to go back in and manually reconnect our mics to the GoPro semi coming always got to be aware along along the roads here guys because you never know who's gonna veer off the road and be watching you or something
right, guys. So TQ's knocking this one out at three and a half. We were thinking about three and a quarter, but it's looking really good now that we got some sun to show it off a little bit. TQ's uh, laying them down for our first mow. It's uh, what, March? No, April 4th. Sorry, I'm in the wrong month. Hey, I'll take it. Look at that baby. Boom. So one of the things I learned over the years working for other companies that I've brought into our company is there's something that can always be being done. So starting to trim her up, you know, starting to backpack blow up, let it warm up for a minute. TQ, I know she's just about done. So I'm just gonna hand this to her, let her blow it off real quick, get the other mower up on the trailer. So when it's time to go, we can go. But I know one thing that's gotta go right now is this hoodie, cause I am soaking wet. I don't even know if I really but I show you guys the new 2023 Spencer lawn care shirts one with a I thought was a neon green but it's definitely not a neon green once you uh say so you put it up close to that I mean it's green it'll work but if you can see I like my neon green someday I'll have a full setup that's all neon green <laughs> Perfect timing, here comes TQ. This is the thing as well, guys. Once you learn each other's philosophy. You can learn how one another operates. Somebody nailed this telephone pole. There's pieces of it all over the lawn. Didn't take it out though, but they definitely marked it for, uh, I'm assuming, takedown. So walk you guys down here real quick. Beautiful, beautiful day. It doesn't get any better than this right now for a springtime. And I mean, literally 20 minutes ago, it was cloudy, gloomy, a bit colder. Now it's it's good. We don't got good sun for this way, but it's there. TQ's gonna blow off, hit the road up, and we'll be on to the next one. All right, guys, so we gotta kinda figure out what we're gonna do with this one. I got the road closed. Hmm. Looks like there's cars parked on this grass over there also. Yeah, this is a bit of a disaster. So back in the day, I was allowed to park over here and then I was told by the other company guy not to park there anymore. So it's this one here. There's cars in the parking lot. It looks like they got yard ripped up too. We're just gonna go ahead and skip that one. But that job don't look like it's gonna be done anytime soon. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to send them an email and see if I can get permission to park back here where I used to. I wonder but. if they have an estimated ETA on when this is all gonna be 
kind of wrapped up. Well, I can tell you one thing. It ain't going to be any time soon. That's the whole center of that road's ripped out. Looks like for walkways and maybe water lines or something. But moving on. Unfortunately, guys, I'm running out of time editing because of my LA softball coming up here. So I'm going to have to cut it short. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later.